Shillan, first of all, welcome to West Bromwich Albion. This is a football club that is so often referred to as a family and you are now our new head of the family. How does that feel? It's still sinking in. Um, I think it'll be an amazing feeling to go out there on a match day and really feel the energy of the fans and the family. And I just look forward to uh, everything that comes with it. I think, you know, I take the idea of family very seriously. It's important to me. Uh, and I know how important this club is to, to the Albion family. And I just uh, want to make the family proud. What was it about West Bromwich Albion that initially sparked your interest? I think everything that you think about when you think about English football, I think that Albion has. Um, you've got the, the tradition, you've got the passion, you've got the close ties with the, you know, with, with the community, you've got the history, you've got quirky stories. Um, I, I think it's just such, such a great representation of, of, of the game uh, and, and, and of English football and, and I'm just so proud to be a part of it. I know large parts will be confidential, Shillen, but I wonder if you could talk us through the process of acquiring West Bromwich Albion and the timeline of events. So I first learned about the opportunity to, to, um, to, to acquire the club in September and um, was able to, from, from, from that point on, you know, taking a deep interest, was, uh, was watching the matches, uh, trying to learn as much as I could about the club, uh, about, about West Bromwich and, and, and you know, about uh, uh, you know about the about, about the context and the opportunity and so um, it was probably it, it was a few weeks later that I put in my first offer and uh, it's been a long journey from there to here um, but uh, have been had, had been working to you know kind of uh, anticipate you know everything that that goes into and prepare for everything that goes into um, you know owning a club like this and so um, just have spent the last couple of months going through an extensive process just uh, where I think everybody involved wanted to make sure um, that this was the right thing to do. And I'm glad to be on the other end of that and I'm glad to be here. Has it always been a goal of yours to own a football club? For as long as I've known that I wanted to be in business, I've known that I've wanted to be in the business of sports. And to me, the global nature of football in particular is so compelling to me, the way that it touches all corners of the world. And so it's absolutely been an aspiration of mine. And I think to be sitting here now uh, is the beginning of the fulfillment of the dream. There's, there's, there's lots more to do, but um, I'm just so excited to have arrived at this moment. How would you like to be described as a leader and what are your key professional values? I think, you know, my, my key values are, are trust and transparency. Uh, I don't like to be in the way. I, I respect the strengths that people bring to the table. Uh, my goal is to set, set the vision, to create an environment of stability, and then to build a high quality team that is competent and trustworthy to go forward and execute. I believe in collaboration. Um, I, don't, I don't believe in micromanagement. Um, I, I, I feel that I know my strengths and I know what my strengths are not and I try to build teams and organizations that complement um, what I can do and what I can't do. So that builds me in nicely to my next question. So how involved will you be with the day-to-day -day running of, of events here at West Bromwich Albion? Um, I, I, I think it's important to understand the uniqueness of football. Um, I want to be very involved, especially early on. There's a lot that I want to learn and need to learn about the context of the club. Um, you know, everything that's happening today, um, you know, where the strengths are, uh, you know, where the opportunities might be. Uh, but uh, I think that ultimately my goal is to have a trusted team that is, uh, you know, living and breathing the business of the team every day. Have you set any short-term goals or long-term goals, Shilla? I, I think the long-term goal has to be to get back home to the Premier League. I think that that's uh, where, the, where a club like uh, West Bromwich Albion belongs. And um, we are going to do our best to, uh, to, to, to return the fans to, 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 to that league. Uh, I think every season until that goal is accomplished, I think our mindset is that uh, we, we have to be a club that's aiming to be in the top six with a chance to play our way up. I know you briefly mentioned it in one of your previous answers, but how many times have you been able to sit down and watch us this season? Um, almost every match, uh, you know, that was that was you know I, that, that I was able to catch through streaming and you know the international rules and all of that. But uh, every match that I've had the opportunity to watch, um, I've, I've 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 watched since uh, since I learned about the club. And now you've become our new owner. How often will we see you at games, both here at the Hawthorns and away from home? 
my goal is to be here as often as I can, especially early on. I think there's a lot that I need to learn about the club, the context of the club, and I think that experiencing the matches, which is the coming together of so much of what, or what, what, what the Albion community means, uh, is going to be something that's very important to, to, to me. Our manager, Carlos Corbran, I'm sure you've heard lots of positive things about him. He's a hugely popular figure here. Schillen, have you had a chance to meet him yet? And how crucial is he to what your plans are for the club on the pitch? I had a chance to meet with Carlos very briefly uh, when I made a visit here back in, uh, at the end of October. And um, I, I, he certainly made an impression on me. I think that you can tell um, that he has a great sense of detail. Uh, his intensity is apparent. Um, and I think that, that the work that he's done, the results that he's achieved, um, you know, in the time that he's been here, they speak for themselves. I'm really excited and very happy that Carlos is our manager. Uh, to me, he is the manager with the perfect mindset for a project like the one that we're embarking on. And um, I, I think that I just, I, I, I really look forward to seeing, um, you know, how he gets the best out of players and, and, you know, now and in the years to come. It's been well documented that we've been working under pretty strict uh, financial restrictions, um, Shillen, over the last 12 to 18 months. Now that you've joined, will that be the case moving forward to ensure the long-term stability of the club? Yeah, I think that there's, you know, that there's, there's a lot that goes into uh, running a club in this league and um, we have to be cognizant of all of those things. So I think that when you're a club that's in the situation that Albion is now without the parachute money, uh, there's no, there's no way. The rules simply do not allow you to buy your way back to the Premier League. You have to earn your way back, and so we have to find a way to run with discipline, to stay on the right side of the rules that exist now and the rules that are probably coming in the future. Um, so I, I think to be a responsible and sustainable operation is crucial. Uh, the club is going to have, um, you know, what it needs to to operate within within the boundaries of of, of the rules of the league. But um, yeah, we're we're absolutely going to have to. Um, be, you know, just boot, increase our expertise in, 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 in getting the most out of everything uh, in front of us. One of the main concerns that the supporters have had here recently is loans to and from the club Schillen. Can you tell us what the state of play is with the MSD loan? So I, I think um, understanding the loan and building a relationship with MSD was a really important part of my process in, in acquiring the club. Uh, so we have agreed to roll the loan over uh, under my ownership and uh, we've, we've established terms for, for, for continuity and the ability to pay the loan down at the right time. So we will be, we will be proceeding with, with the loan in place initially um, and we will we'll, we'll be in a constant process with MSD to, to, to figure out the right way to move forward. There is also money owed to the club in the form of two loans, Shillen, one dating back to 2014 and the other being the wisdom loan. What is the status of those loans, please? There's a lot of complexity accounting wise around those loans and we had to spend a lot of time figuring out the right way to handle them. The 2014 loan is not really something that I can comment on. I think that there's, 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 it's an ongoing, there's an ongoing matter with it and we just need to wait to see um, how that process plays through. The Wisdom Smart Loan, uh, for better or worse, the club will be in, in, in need of additional cash. I think that's known to to uh, everybody in the Albion community and the football world. And so we will probably, through an accounting mechanism, utilize the Wisdom Smart Loan and satisfying it as part of our process of bringing cash into the club. The fans here at the Albion Schillen really appreciate honest and open communication from key figures at the club. Are you somebody who is going to integrate with the supporters and tell them as much as you can about the goings on here? I'm a big believer in transparency. I'm a big believer in communication. Um, I think that it'll be, it'll be up to me to learn more about everybody involved, but I think that my goal is to be communicative and open. I think that the plans that we have for the club are plans that everybody should be excited about, that everybody should have a relationship with, and um, I would look forward to having an ongoing dialogue with the fans and all of the other stakeholders at the club. Another huge part of West Bromwich Albion is of course the brilliant Albion Foundation. How excited are you to meet the Albion Foundation guys to get involved in their projects and find out about more about what they do? Philanthropy is one of the defining characteristics of our family. I think that there is little that's more important than, than giving back and making a difference where you can. I've been really impressed with the work of the Albion Foundation. I think it was one of the things that stood out to me uh, as unique amongst a lot of the other clubs that I've looked at over the years. 
and it's something that I'm really excited to engage with. I think that the programming and the reach of the foundation right now is already tremendous, uh, and I look forward to seeing how we can build on that with our own philanthropic projects as a family, uh, whether that's you know here in, 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 in the Midlands uh, and in the black country or around the world. I think that there's great power to the Albion brand, uh, and I think that there's, there's, there's great potential for the foundation. What would you say has been the main emotion that you've been feeling since all this has been finalized? I have not allowed myself to get excited about the process um, through this whole time because I think everything is always so tenuous and you just, you just don't know what's going to happen when you wake up the next day in terms of what news is coming out or how things have changed. And so um, I have been extremely guarded for about three or four months and I think to be here feels like an incredible relief. Um, I can finally permit myself to be a little bit excited about the opportunity. Um, I've, I've wanted to be thrilled for a long time, but it was not something I allowed for myself until things were official. And so uh, now I'm delighted, I'm over the moon and I, I can't wait for what happens next. And just finally, Shillen, I wonder what success looks like for you here. What would you like your legacy to be at West Bromwich Albion? Yeah, the club has been here. <laughs> it was long before I've been alive. Um, the club will be here long after I'm gone. So I think that my goal is for my period with the club to be one that is reflected on as one of the, you know, one of, one of the great periods in the club's history. Uh, I think that we, it's important to be realistic, but uh, I don't think that that means that we can't be ambitious. And, I, and absolutely, um, it, it certainly means that we can be proud. And that's my goal, is I want, uh, I want everybody associated with West Bromwich Albion to feel pride when they think about uh, the time that I've had the opportunity to, to lead the family. Uh -huh.